Hello and welcome to the Fibonacci free video for Monday, April 25th. Now, if we look here at the Dow, right, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, this index, right, it started the day to the downside, trying to continue this move down from Thursday's high, um, Friday's dramatic sell-off, but, right, it, it spiked below this voodoo fire line right here at 33,606, the most important of all of the voodoo lines levels. That's what these fire lines are. And it recovered smartly to end positive on the day. Look, um, it doesn't mean that these levels will hold. However, um, it is hard for me to be bearish something that is holding support at a fire line. So it's going to have to get below, find resistance below, and turn back down from the fire line to um, have me be <laughs> um, seriously bearish here. Um, meanwhile, if we take a look at the, um, at the S&P real quickly, um, it has a fire line even further down, and I do trust this index a little bit uh, more than I do the Dow, right? Um, but the S&P has uh, its fire line down here at 4083. You can see it here on the weekly chart. Uh, we could um, out a little bit or, or change our scaling to see it down here. And again, I would need to see this crack and find resistance below um, in order to get bearish. Otherwise, we still could be in wide ranging chop from the all time high. And, um, you know, again, it, it doesn't feel terribly choppy on days like Friday. Um, and, and that's the wide ranging aspect of it, but we could be wiggling around in here for a little bit with tricky action. Um, but even with selling like this, I am not going to be bearish unless or until we um, we see a reason to and and breaking and holding below those fire lines would be one of those reasons so that's what i've got here for you this evening and i will see you at the next update without simpler trading i could not have financial independence this is one of the best investments i ever made in my life it's helping me find consistency it's one of the things that won me over